Hello and welcome to a sunny Sydney cricket ground for the first Carlton Mid ODI Tri-Series match between Australia and England. The hosts are fresh off a 2-0 Test Series win against India, while England beat the Prime Minister's 11 by 60 runs in Canberra on Wednesday. Now the New Year's Test was an absolute road out here, and judging by the look of this wicket, it's an absolute highway. Head curator Tom Parker looks to have left a lot of grass on the wicket and there is some slight cracking, but that shouldn't come into play today. Now Australia and England have played 62 times in ODI cricket in Australia, with the home side winning on 40 occasions. But here at the SCG, it's actually a lot tighter. In fact, it's 10 all. So today could actually be the decider. Australia's already played here this summer at the SCG, recording a two wicket win over South Africa, thanks to three wickets to Pat Cummins, half centuries to Aaron Finch, Shane Watson and Steve Smith. Now, through the power of science, technology, and this handy little app that I've been developing, let's have a look at today's playing surface. Okay, so here is today's wicket right here. Hang on, no, that's, uh, that's too big. One second. Here it is, here is today's wicket. Now, the SCG is 161 metres long and has a width of 146.2 metres, covering an impressive 1.86 hectares. Um, now, if we just tap this, oh, why isn't this, work? it was working yesterday, if you just, what? Well, you know, as you can see, I guess uh, with all technology, there are a few bugs still to work out, but I'm confident that uh, today's playing service will be excellent for cricket. Now it's time for our first fan question of the series, and this one comes from Lyle L from North Haverbrook. Lyle asks, how do you calculate your batting and bowling averages, and does Sydney need an electric mass transit system? Great question, Lyle. Well, it's actually really easy to do. For batting, you take your runs scored and divide that by your innings batted minus your not outs. So Steve Smith has scored 921 ODI runs, batted 34 times with five not outs for an average of 31.75. And for bowling, it's even easier. You just take your runs conceded and divide that by wickets taken. So Mitchell Stark has conceded 1,102 one-day runs and taken 49 wickets for an average of 22.48. As for your second question, Lyle, well, Sydney did have a monorail, but unfortunately it was shut down and turned into scrap metal in August 2013. Don't forget to download the Cricket Australia Live app on your mobile and tablet device. And for Apple TV owners, great news, cricket.com.au is on there where all the highlights are just at your fingertips. Not now. <laughs> Any one thing. 